Oh, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tuning episodes. Last episode, we tuned this a Volkswagen Golf GTI. Um, it was actually a very, very surprising hidden beast. It's crazy how I actually tuned that car to be good. It just didn't make sense. So, hope you guys check out that episode um, or download the tune off the storefront. And on to the next car. Um, I choose my cars by randomly picking. Um, I close my eyes and I scroll and I just stop and I pick the car that it lands on so it's a good way to do it um, I'm picking completely completely random cars that I never would have chose um, to make drift builds so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count to three hopefully I won't fail on counting this time uh, because I did count to six um, last episode and I actually missed out five so <laughs> hopefully I can count to three um, so let's close my eyes and here we go one thousand two thousand three thousand Okay, a Tesla Model S. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I have to buy the car. Okay, that's not happening. So let's just go one to the... No, I've already made a GT86. So let's go one to, one to the left. And that is a DLC as well. Uh, do we have to pay for that? Yes, we do have to pay for that. So we won't be doing that either. Uh, so let's go one to the left again. A Subaru Legacy RS. Okay. So this one is free, so we can quickly download this. Um, Subaru Legacy, very, very interesting. Very interesting, so let's download this very quickly. Um, it shouldn't take very long. Uh, there we go, so let's jump into the car. Um, unfortunately, I don't buy car packs on this game. Uh, none of them has interested me one little bit, um, but maybe, maybe the Fast and Furious one, I might get that, seeing as a few people said it was free, so be interesting. Uh, let's go for the white and grey. Looks kind of like old school, kind of kind of vintage. I like that. So let's buy it, the Subaru Le uh, Legacy right there. Uh, this could be an interesting car. I like the I like the look of it. Um, like the the visuals, it appeals to me. It's kind of like an old school like Honda Civic, like the um, four door version. Um, so yeah, let's let's get out of there. Um, but yeah, the Honda Civic, like the boxy kind of kind of um, four door version. I can't remember the actual like mark or year or anything like that. But you should know what I mean. Um, but yeah, hey into the upgrades. Let's go, custom. Okay, that actually looks very very beautiful. Looks so beautiful, bro. Uh, Rear wheel drive swap right there. Um, a slap in. 6.2 V8, do we do it? 455 horsepower, let's do it. There's it only 1,000, oh no, that's quite heavy to be honest, 1,400 kilograms uh, for a car of, that looks like that. It's quite actually surprising it's that heavy to be honest. Um, so let's see if there's any body kits or anything. Okay, there is. Not too much difference. Um, I prefer that one though. Um, spoiler. Oh yes, a D-wing that. D-wing that with the with the bonnet clips, the bonnet clips on the hood, hood clips. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what I meant. Okay, you can put um, mud guards on, so I don't think I'll be doing that. And bonnet. Okay, there's a lot of rally options here. A lot of rally. Wow. Okay. Um, so let's just go with let's go with the bonnet clips for now. That looks pretty clean. That's kind of seen. Um, so let's do that. Um, onto tires, stock tire compound. Um, I always my drift cars are always stock tire compound. So let's go two three fives on the front, and hopefully on the rears we'll be able to get a little bit more two five fives. There we go. That's spot on. Okay, wheels, 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 wheels. Uh, do we go? Ah, oh, I've got a good idea. These. If we go for those, and when this is lowered, trust me, that will look absolutely rude. That will look rudy tube. Haha. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's upgrade the tire with it. Um, rim side, sorry. Let's go for 18s. Still got a nice tire wall there. That's fine. So let's go up to 18s on the rear as well. Looks kind of nice. Um, hopefully with the race suspension, should drop it pretty nice on those wheels. Um, so let's go everything race in transmission. 
Uh, do watch out for the Storm Island upgrade there. Uh, we don't want to be chucking on the off-road transmission. Uh, it really fucks up your gearing. Makes it really, really short. So you don't want to be doing that. Um, race differential as well. There we go. Okay, platform and handling. So let's go with... Let's go with street brakes for now. Uh, we can upgrade them if we do need to, but thinking more in terms of tandems, etc. Um, so yeah, that looks absolutely sweet on those wheels dropped. Um, I like the black effect with the grey kind of bottom. It adds like a dark feel to the car. Um, I like that. So let's go race anti-roll bars front and rear. That's fine. Um, roll cage. Do we roll cage yet? Yeah, why not? It's a four-door, more horse car, but there's no horse getting in the rear, bro. Okay. <laughs> 1,177 kilo gleams. Um, we could go for that. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, running in 400 horsepower. Uh, should we push up to 500? And I think that should be pretty nice for stability. And uh, we should have enough power push us around those corners. Should we just do race camshafts? 500... <sighs> no, let's, let's go sport camshafts. 524 horsepower. That's fine. And let's just chuck on the race flywheel right there. Okay, so that is all the upgrades on. Let's jump out into a free roam. Free roam. Oh, yeah. Um, wow. I really like the the number plate on the rear there. Um, I know this is downloaded paint, but still looks pretty, 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 pretty nice. Um, so I didn't want to do that. Why have I gone into the tune already? Um, I wanted to go to the map and jump over to the dogs, bro. We want to go to dogs, bro. Uh, should we go over to? Should we do circle time over here? Let's do some circle time. If no one knows what circle time is, um, check out my streams sometimes. I love circle time. Circle time is a very interesting reflecting time where you can catch mad tandems, bro. <laughs> it's a very, very good tandem area, this place. Really, really enjoy drifting here. Um, luckily, it faced me completely the right way. Um, so as you can see, there's loads of circles. There's loads of these things, whatever they are. And I'll pretty much be drifting around these. Um, there is a route that I do do. Do do? Okay. It drifts the stock, bro. Just quite literally put upgrades and buy. <laughs> Just upgrade car, rear wheel drive, drift. Okay. Very, very interesting. Gearing seems absolutely spot on right now. Um, I like the gearing. Um, the rear could do with a little bit more slidiness. So let's just up the tyre pressures, up the negative camber. Uh, gearing seems fine. Anti-roll bars, let's bring up the rear a tiny switch. Springs pretty, pretty... It's towards the stiff side, but I like my cars a lot stiffer, so I'm going to up this. Uh, ride heart all the way to the bottom. Uh, pretty much just a basic bass tune that I do pretty much every episode. Uh, that seems to be spot on. So it seems like once you have a tune, you put it onto every single car. Like you make slight adjustments, but that bass tune seems to work every single time. So let's try that. Uh, it should be a little bit more slidier in the rear that I was aiming for. Okay, that is absolutely beast. Look at that. Just look at it. That's all I'm going to say. Just look at that. Wow, it's so stable. This could be a very, very good new car. A very, very good new car. It's very stable. Oh my... Oh my goodness. Oh wow, wheel did not react then. I had to spin that back myself, what the fuck? Seeing as the wheel didn't react, I might down the tyre pressures in the front a tiny bit more. 
uh, just to get some more feeling into the wheel. Uh, because I haven't had that for a very long time where it loses force feedback. Now, because it could have been just my wheel fucking up, or it could be the car. Wow, look at the stability right there. Oh, whew, close to the wall. Look at the stability in this car, man. Look at that. Oh my god. This is the stability king. Oh, what? Look at it. Oh my god. Okay, I found a very good car here. I found an amazing car. I'm going to be pulling this car out a lot. Because it's got the power. It's got amazing stability. Oh my god. Um, I haven't had to drop a force feedback again. So I think that's just a one off with my wheel. I think my wheel fucked up there. Um, so I don't think I'm going to down the tyre pressures in the front. Because it seems fine at the moment. So no point changing anything when you're this stable. Uh, we could drift the front a bit too much. And it'll start oversteering. Um, a little bit too much which we don't want uh, but yeah this feels absolutely amazing oh my god utter madness this car wow I'm getting close to that wall every single time I like that uh, what I like to do on circle time is bring it out to these walls I tried a little bit too much there but I like to bring it out to the walls just to get a little bit of a tap there uh, adds a nice bit onto kind of circle time. Uh, adds a bit of challenging aspect, uh, but this is a very very good tandem area because it's very smooth. Um, there's no traffic and pretty smooth corners as well. So there's not too much speed change as well. So you can just ride doors the whole way around circle time basically. Wow, this car is absolutely a this is a beast. This is an absolute beast. This could be one of my best cars right now. Generally, this is amazing. Just look at the stability right there. And it's got the power as well, which is crazy. Wow, everything is spot on in this car. I chose the right amount of power there. Maybe if I put the race camshafts in, I might have got not got this stableness and I might be struggling right now, but I've hit the power right on the head right there. Look at it. It's so stable. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. It's a very nice car to look at as well. That is one good thing about this car. Like you've got a drift car. But also a very attractive car um, so yeah I don't think I'm going to have to run this car anymore um, I was waiting for it to fuck up so I could change something but it's spot on there's no need to change anything that is working perfect so what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to upload the setup onto the storefront so you can just go download it um, off the storefront if you don't want to put the upgrades on for yourself uh, but if you want the tune unlocked you will have to put the upgrades on for yourself um, so yeah this is being uploaded, it's called Drift, um, you have to be in this certain car uh, to be able to find it. So say if you're in a Subaru WRX, you won't find a tune for this car. So you have to be in this car and go onto the storefront and you should be able to find it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Absolutely stability king bruh. We found the stability king, so hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.